this morning. Come on, let's magnify him. Crown of King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Hallelujah.
from his past or avoid her baggage think about it baggage we get it from other people by the things they do to us or say to us and if we carry those things around in essence we carry baggage we begin collecting baggage when we're just little kids hey. oh hey what's going on I need to talk to you okay yeah I was talking with the gang yeah yeah, we were all talking, and I was like the spokesperson. Oh, okay, what's the gang doing? We're gonna build a tree house. <gasps> oh, I've always wanted to build a tree house. Well, you're not really gonna get to. Uh, what do you mean? Yeah, um, we took a vote, and we decided you'll, um, um you'll weigh us down. Uh, what do you mean I'll weigh you down? You're too fat. What? Yeah, for a five-year-old, you're a little hefty. No, <laughs> mommy says that I'm just chunky. What? Peanut butter's chunky. <sighs> no, mommy says that I'm big boned. Dinosaurs have big bones. No, mommy says I've lost a lot of weight. I think you found it again, sorry. <laughs> I've heard that sticks and stones may break my bones, but words, words can never hurt me, right? Well, guess what? That is one of the biggest lies we've been taught. Words can cut so deep, and if we don't learn to let go of those words and forgive, we just end up picking up baggage. You know, sometimes we collect baggage from the people closest to us, like a best friend. Hey, Jerry, look, I know I was supposed to call you on behalf of my best friend, but we talked for like five hours last night, and I really feel like we had a connection. I mean, I know I've only known you for like mm, three days, but I know in my soul that I love you. I mean, I love you so much. I stayed up all night writing a song just about you. I'm gonna sing it for you now, okay? <sighs> okay. Music break, boom, 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 boom. I love you, and I want to be together forever. <laughs> I'm such an awesome singer, right? Anyways, I was thinking, uh, I gotta go, bye. Oh, hey, hey, how, how are, are you? you? I'm great. Who are, who are you talking to? My Just, dad. Yep, I was Wait. talking to my dad. <laughs> you were singing that song to your dad? What did yeah. he ever do to you? 
I sing songs to my dad all the time. <laughs> okay, because, you know, to me, it kind of sounded like you were singing a song to someone named Jerry. That's because that's my dad's name, Jerry. Yeah. Wait, I thought your dad's name was Harry. It is Harry. Harry Jerry. Harry Jerry? Yeah, so really? he gets really upset about his name. So I have to sing to him sometimes so he feels better. Oh, that's, that's a great thing that you're doing right well, there. Well, I'm a great person, so yeah. Okay, uh, by, uh, by the way, did you talk to Jerry like I asked? Oh, your Jerry. Oh, yeah, my Jerry. Uh, yeah, about that. Um, you're going to laugh. It's really funny. Uh, he's not going to be <laughs> your Jerry. Oh. He's kind of going to be my Jerry. <laughs> so wait, funny, aren't you wait, happy? Wait, wait. You've known since we were little kids that I've liked this guy and I asked for you to do me a favor and go talk to him for me. And now the two of you are going out, that doesn't make any sense. Look, it's not my fault that we fell into eternal love, okay? Look, don't let this come between us, okay? What do you mean don't let this come between us? We've been best friends forever. Don't let this tiny little thing come between us, okay? <sighs> okay, well, forever just got a lot shorter. You don't know how to be a best friend. Look, your friends are just trying to live life, just like you are. And they may make some poor decisions, and you may be hurt by it. But if you don't learn to let go of those words and forgive, you just end up picking up more baggage. You know, the truth about baggage is that we don't even need other people to load it on us. We do a pretty good job of dumping it on ourselves when we compare ourselves to others. We think things like, I'll never be as popular as they are. I'll never be as talented. You know, why can't I just be as good at sports as they are? When we listen to those thoughts in our heads, more baggage. Or, or we find ourselves thinking, they have it made. I mean, why is life so easy for them and so hard for me? I'm never going to make it. And when we buy into that lie, more baggage. You know, sometimes we collect baggage from people who love us dearly. They just don't realize their words cut like a knife. Mallory? Uh, hey, Dad. So, what happened out there today? I don't know. The lights got in my eyes and the ball just slipped out of my hand. The lights got in your eyes? Yeah, Dad, the ball slipped. It was an accident. The lights got in your eyes? Yes, Dad. There were college scouts there. I know. The light's got in your eyes. I mean, come on. Dad, the ball slipped. How many times have we worked on the ball not slipping at 5 o'clock in the morning, huh? I know. Believe there were college me. scouts there. This was your opportunity. Hey, coach, yeah. Yeah, butterfingers, but we're working on it, okay? So what's her status? I mean, she's still starting. She's going to play. Yeah, see ya. Are you crying? No. Don't cry. I, I won't. Get your stuff, let's go to the Dad, car. Dad, the ball slipped. There was nothing I could do Enough. at that point. This was your dream. And you wrecked it. You ruined it. So is it okay for me to be a little bit disappointed? Now get your stuff. Our parents, they don't mean to hurt us. It's just that they have baggage of their own. And when you don't deal with baggage, you pass it on. And for us, if we find our identity in anything other than our relationship with Christ, when we hold on just collect more baggage. It gets uncomfortable, tedious even, and our natural tendency is to want to dump this baggage off on someone else. But it always backfires. Hey sis, so I was wondering oh, if- wait. Did you just walk into my room without knocking or asking? You know that's not what you do, go back out. <sighs> Might come in now, your highness. I guess. So, as I was trying to ask you before, I was wondering if you could take me and my friends to school today. <laughs> you are not doing this. Doing what exactly? Okay, look, just because you and your little dweeb friends are going to be at the high school doesn't mean that you and I are going to be hanging out, okay? Because I don't want anyone to know that you're my little brother because you're a freak. Understand? People look at you and they think you're a freak. And if they see you and me hanging out, then they're going to think that I'm a freak too. So I don't care if you walk, I don't care if you crawl, I don't care what you do, but I am not your chauffeur. Do you understand? It's not my fault Dad left. Why do you keep on taking out on me? <laughs> Whatever. You know I'm right. Okay. I'm sorry. You're not sorry. You're just sorry because I called you out on it. So you know what? I'm just going to ride my bike.
wait, wait, I said I was sorry. And in the midst of dumping some baggage off on someone else, you only end up picking up more. And then, then there's this other bag. This is my sin. It's my, my secret sin. And it's okay because nobody knows about it. But then, once I think I've got it under control, then it's probably gotten control of me. And even though no one else knows, God knows. So we live our lives, and when we think we've got it all balanced out, maybe no one can really tell. But sometimes, sometimes it gets unbalanced, and we find ourselves struggling just to stay up. And we remember the words of Jesus, I have come that you may have life and have it abundantly. But let's be honest, this ain't the abundant life. She can't even walk straight, can't even keep her balance. And then, then you remember his words, come, come to me, me, all you who are tired and worn out, and, and I, I will give, give you rest. And that's what, that's what I want. So I say, Jesus, please, if you're willing, would you please take all of this baggage from me? Because Jesus, I am miserable, and I can't live like, like this anymore. Please take it. And you know what? He takes it. Let your glory fill this temple, let your power 